It's Nathan, Billiton, and here at the Whaler on Kaanapuri Beach. Uh, happy Halloween to everybody. Uh, with that said, I do have a couple stories I'd like to share with you. The first story uh, happened to me about 12 years ago, and I titled it The Oluwalu Lady. And let me explain to you what happened to me about 12 years ago. I was riding my bike from Kahana, which is about four miles north of uh, the Whaler on Kanapati Beach. I was going towards Lahaina. And most of you probably know where the Oluwalu General Store is located. Well, anyway, as I came upon the Oluwalu General Store, out in a distance in front of me, I remembered seeing about 20 yards away this elderly lady dressed in tattered white dress. Um, she looked to be about 80, 85 years old. I, as I approached her, I nodded as if to say, hi, how are you? Is everything okay? But after I passed her about 10 yards past, I stopped my bike immediately because something told me this wasn't right. There was an elderly lady, lady way out here in Oluwalu looks like she might have been in trouble. So I stopped my bike just 10 yards away from where I passed her. When I turned around my bike, she was literally nowhere to be found. My first initial impression was, okay, settle down, Nathan. She probably ran back in the bushes. Maybe she was a homeless woman. But every time I thought about it, I said to myself, how could this elderly lady turn around that fast and disappear? And after all, I was, my bike was just turned around uh, 10 yards past her. So after I ran all of these possibilities through my head, I kept on saying to myself, no, this is impossible. Let me get off my bike, I'll cross the street, and I'll go into the general store and just see if that lady may have entered the store. Before I did that, I went to the bush area and I checked high and low to see if maybe she might have fallen down in the trench there area. I couldn't find her. So. I went across the street, I went to a friend of mine who still works there today, his, he's been there for over 20 years. I told him I had a situation I needed to discuss with him, and I told him, it didn't take me too long to tell him that I saw this elderly lady dressed in white, that he stopped me right there and he says, let me explain to you how this lady might have looked and you tell me if it's true. Everything from her hair, her mannerisms, her clothes, to the two scars that she had below her right eye was to the point of what I saw. When he told me that, I started to get chicken skin because now I realized, hey, did I see something here that very few people might have seen in the past? And then in, in telling me the story of her, he, he, he told me it was the Oluwala lady. So I said, I have never heard about this. He says, yeah, it's in history books. But he says, this particular lady, as much as he knows, passed away over a hundred years ago, and she lived in Oluwalu. And the locals here believe that it is her spirit, spirit that still roams and, and looks for her family. But again, I'm, it took me a long time to come to grips that that's what I saw because the pessimist side of me always plays a part, but after I kept on saying to myself, no, she couldn't have gone here, no, she couldn't have crossed the street that fast, no, she couldn't have went this way, that's when I said to myself, I'm going to cross the street. Mm -hmm. So I witnessed this elderly lady, obviously in spirit, but dressed in this long white tattered uh, cloth, uh, very elderly. So. My friend also told me, I hope you gestured in kindness to her because if you didn't, that could be a problem. So I said, yes, I did not nod to her and I did make an effort to turn around and see if I could help. So he put me in touch with a Hawaiian a cultural specialist. So I told that person a story and she said, you're fine, at least you offered help. But that is what happened to me. And still today when I tell this story, I get chicken skin. <laughs>